Paul Pogba has been banned from football for four years after the World Cup winner tested positive for doping. The ban starts from when Pogba first tested positive, so the France international cannot play until August 2027, when he'll be 34 years old. Sports lawyer Caroline Forshaw from uh, uh, from Brabners spoke to TalkSport and said that this ban could spell the end of his footballing career. I think taking into consideration the fact that he's, you know, he's in his 30s, the ban is, is purportedly for four years, during which time he wouldn't be able to participate in any form of football. So he really would be left in the sidelines. So for, for an elite athlete not to have that continuation of training, medical intervention, all of those sorts of things, um, it's hard to see how he would be able to continue to perform at the levels he has been. Obviously, he's also had um, a bad spell with a number of injuries in recent times and hasn't actually play, been playing a great deal anyway. And given that his contract with Juventus is, is due to terminate in 2026, um, you know, at which point he'd be midway through his ban, it, you know, it does raise a question of which clubs would would want to sign him, especially if he does file an appeal and it is unsuccessful and he's deemed to be a doper. Uh, Join us now for more on this story is Talk Sports Chief Football Correspondent Alex Crook. Crookie, hello, good afternoon to you. Yeah, good afternoon. Never a dull news day, is it? No, never. I mean, I wasn't expecting this news today. Um, let me ask you, I suppose, a few obvious questions before we get um, into the, the, the dark and, and dangerous world of what we can expect to happen to him when the ban is lifted. But before we get there, just tell me a bit more about the current ban and the specific details around it, if you would. Well, as you mentioned there, Andy, it's a backdated ban. So it's a four-year ban starting uh, from the afternoon or from the day uh, when he tested positively. That was after the first game uh, of this season for Juventus against Udinese, I believe. And obviously banned substances were found in Paul Pogba's system. Uh, he did ask for the uh, the results to be retested. And again, um, they came up as uh, as testing positive to a banned substance. So he says it appeal, Paul Popper, but it doesn't seem to me that he's going to have too much grounds for appeal. He also says that when he's free from legal restrictions, yeah. Yeah. the full story will become clear. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what that full story is. But as we say... Uh, 34 he'll be Paul Pogba by the time that this ban uh, comes to its conclusion. So effectively, unless he can get the sentence uh, reduced, I think his top level career is probably over. Cookie, do we know what he was um, found guilty of? Do we know what he was meant to be taking? He had too much testosterone in his system, basically, and that is uh, that is the banned substance. Uh, as, a, as I mentioned, we should say that Paul Pogba very quickly this afternoon came out and denied any wrongdoing, says that as a professional athlete, he would never do anything to enhance his performance by using banned substances. He said he's never disrespected or cheated his fellow athletes and supporters of any of the teams uh, that he's played for. But as I say, uh, not one but two samples, uh, both uh, tested positive, and this ban has been handed out by the Anti-Doping Prosecutor's Office in Italy. Crookie, we know that he's obviously going to appeal it, um, but is he more looking to clear his name or get the reduced sentence on the four-year ban? I think it's about getting the sentence reduced because he's already been found guilty, so I don't necessarily believe that he can appeal against that judgment, but he can appeal against the severity uh, of the ban. I think what he'll probably claim is that anything that was in his system was by accident um, as opposed to a deliberate act from him to gain a sporting advantage. Mm. Uh, if he is successful in getting that ban maybe taken down to two years, how much of his reputation will be damaged? I know football's got no morals at the end of the day, yeah. but um, do you see other clubs, when, when his deal for Juve expires and maybe he can play again and he doesn't have to wait till, what, 20 to, 27 when he's 34 years old, do you see any other clubs desperate for his signature or not? Do you think that could be it for him? I don't know about being desperate for his signature because I think, as, as we heard from Julian Laurent there, if you look at Paul Pogba's career, it, it started full of promise. He, he's a World Cup winner. He's somebody that I think a lot of people felt possibly could and should be a Ballon d'Or winner, but it hasn't really transpired that way. So I don't think big clubs uh, around the world are going to be desperate to sign Paul Pogba just based on what he's done on the pitch in recent seasons, let alone 
on the back of this doping ban. But as you mentioned there, football is not renowned for being uh, particularly moralistic. There'll be some clubs somewhere, I'm sure, if he can get the ban reduced, that will take a chance on on Paul Pogba. But I don't think it'll be an elite club. OK, um, before I let you go, one of the questions we're asking is Paul Pogba, the biggest what-if players of all time. What's your answer to that question, Crookie? Well, Bente will know from uh, when we used to host the boot room together. I, I was never Paul Pogba's biggest fan at, at Manchester United. I, I didn't necessarily feel that they should have signed him back in the first place. There were reasons that Sir Alex Ferguson decided to let him go, and it wasn't down to his talent. I think it was down to his application. Mm. As a United fan, I can probably count on one hand the number of times that Paul Pogba impressed in that red shirt. I always got the feeling that he was playing within himself. So I think I think the answer, it's a difficult question because he has won the World Cup. And there aren't too many people uh, on the planet who can say that. But will we look back at Paul Pogba as an unfulfilled talent, even though he, he arguably won the biggest trophy of all? I think we will, because I think he, he could have done a lot more with his career. And he had opportunities, you know, to play for elite clubs like Manchester United, like Juventus. And it hasn't worked out particularly mm. well for him going back to Italy. And I think, as I say, that's more down to his mentality than it is down to his ability because I think he was blessed with a, a God-given talent and he hasn't made the most of that. Crookie, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for coming. We'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks, guys. There you go, the wonderful Alex Crook uh, giving us his view on all things Paul Pogba. You can do the same by picking up the phone 037 I'll put the same questions to you. I'll start with the last one I asked him. Is he one of the <clears throat> biggest what-if players, do you think? Um, I th certainly in this country. I think when you look at what he's done at international level, I mean, win the World Cup and getting in team with that World Cup, that 2018 World Cup, I know people are going to say, yeah, he had good players around him, but he was outstanding for France. Like Whenever he put on that France shirt, he was, he was decent, very good. What he did at Juventus to four, Serie A, Copa Italia as well a couple of times. I think I think the disappointing thing, if you the Premier League scene is the, the, the biggest and best league in the world, is that you, you were so excited when he re-signed that you thought, here we go. Like, do you know what I mean? This guy has is, is got everything, all the attributes to, mm. to, to be one of the best midfield players on the planet. And it just didn't happen when he came to Manchester United now. Was he mixed up potentially in a, in a period where Manchester United are in transition? Maybe, but as Crookie said, there, me and Crookie used to argue on the boot room so often because I, I, I people can't look at his resume and go that he's an average player. That that to me was always ridiculous. But then when he came to Manchester United, he was an average player because he didn't really put in that many performances. But you look at his body of work outside of Manchester United, it was always good. But a lot of people will look at that, and Julian Ron said it like incredibly well that towards the end of his career and certainly the period we're in now you almost forget about what he did in 2018 in that World Cup and you start mm. going, well, where is this player? What's happened to him? Let me ask you then, where do you stand on how responsible athletes are regarding what goes into their body, right? So he's he's been tested, found positive mm. for having too much testosterone. I don't have the, the, the exact balance of, you know, of what course, he should yeah. have had and, and how much over he was, etc. But needless to say, he's been banned because mm. there was too much in there. He will claim, I would imagine. In fact, let's take him out of the equation. If there is an athlete or mm. box or whatever that's found in this scenario, you, more often than not, they say, it's the I, same. Well, yeah. But you know what's mad is that in football, in terms of that, if you're in an individual sport, right, I get it. So you can, you might have outside like, of like a tennis player. Right, yeah, or right. an athlete, like a sprinter or whatever, yeah. right? But it's all. So, so, sorry, before you move on. So you're saying if you are in a sport where it's just you, yeah. what are you saying? You might get outside influences, like you might. Like so a doctor or someone might give it like to you. Like your right? nutritionist might. Right, yeah, right. right. So, okay, but in that scenario, yeah. before you move on, sorry, who do you think is responsible? Is it not the person that eventually well, puts you, it if, in their well, mouth? If you, hire, if you hire a team yeah. and you trust the people around you, right. you're not fully to blame because remember, if you're, again, I'm using a sprint, if you're a sprinter, right, you, and your job is to just sprint, you're, you're not an expert on nutrition or... Like the the recovery shakes that okay. you take, yeah, or yeah. the 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 vitamins. Yep. So if you get banned and someone's giving it to you, then yeah, of course you're responsible because you're an adult. But someone else is to blame as well. Okay. But in team events, well, why does that differ in I, teams? Because well, Paul Pogba, will, a footballer, yeah, will have a big big footballer will have all of that around yeah, him anyway. I, I get right? that. But my point is, when I'll give you an example, when I was at was that Villa or was that Villa? Right, so we was at Villa and we went to Hong Kong, right? There was. We couldn't eat. We went to a restaurant, Chinese restaurant. Now, at the time, there had been contamination in some of the, the food over there, right? right. So, we, like in the meat. So when we went to a Chinese restaurant, what? like if we took if we took it, it could show up as a banned substance. Oh, right. okay. This was right. in Hong Kong, right, right. with Villa. Yeah. We went to a Chinese restaurant, couldn't eat any of the meat. All we could eat was fish, because that had been deemed all right. But at football clubs, they always say to you, right, if you want to go and see your own individual fitness instructor, whatever. That's fine. You can do that if you want. If you feel like you're not getting the fitness you need here, go there. But they always tell you, don't take anything. 
I mean, personally, I think they should have a second chance, depending. But if they get caught twice, then we're looking at a life ban. But what bothers me is that certain sports, the, differ, the penalties are different. For like boxers, I mean, there's uh, like certain boxers have been banned for 12 to 2 years. But yet, Paul Pogba's automatically got a four year ban. I don't get it. Mm, that's What's a very your, good point. Your, I, I think I mean, because like, in football, there's one governing body that makes the, the decisions. In right. boxing, there's so many, isn't there? You could be banned from one, but still being able to fight mm. for another. Shouldn't it be like just overboard or sports should be like classed at the same? Yeah. Oh, do you know, that, that, and that's the only difficulty, I think, is that, and which is why I've said, if you're a footballer and you get caught, or, or a, a sprinter, I know, or, do you know what I mean, or, or a tennis player, I think four years is, is sufficient. Because that's a last, that's a big chunk out of your... The, the only thing I'll say, right, the only thing I'll say is, the impact that can have on someone else's life that keeps getting the silver medal, right? Yeah. That should be getting the gold because they're up against someone yeah. that's cheating. We don't really think about that. You know, you're talking about you could you could end someone's life, which I, you're totally right. But mentally, that athlete that every morning gets up at 5am mm -hmm. has been training for 15 years to win that gold, keeps getting silver, but, keeps getting... Yeah, but eventually, I'm, I like to think they'd go back and then award them that medal. Yeah, but it won't be the same. You miss that moment standing on Mate, the podium. As, as long as you've got that gold no, medal... I no, I No, 100%. If you've got that gold medal if, on your thing... If, it's... if Arsenal... Are, you finished second last year, right? Yeah. If Arsenal are awarded that because Man City get done for breaking whatever rules, yeah. if, if this is just me giving you, a, you'll you'll look back and go, yeah, we won the league, haha, <laughs> we won the league. But it, the Arsenal players would be devastated. They didn't have that moment on the pitch of lifting oh, the no. trophy. No, I, I wouldn't. I'd be like, I but want. They it. would. No, I wouldn't. Well, you just get here's your here's your medal. Thank you. Champion. No, I don't think you would. Uh, Sean's up next. Hi, Sean. I didn't tell we're all right. Yeah, we're good. If you is your radio on in the background? Uh, I'm at the driving range currently. Oh, fine, OK. <laughs> How are you getting on? What are you playing off? Uh, I can't tell you that on public. It's quite embarrassing. Well, I can't know. You can tell me. Big learning curve. What? Uh, big learning curve. I play off 27 at the minute. <laughs> well, Andy's a bandit, so don't do worry. Play, do you play off the ladies' tees with that number? Uh, sometimes I put pants down. I've not made it past the ladies' tees. <laughs> you are better. <laughs> Listen, you've got to start somewhere. That's not too bad. How long have you been playing for, Sean? Uh, probably for about six months. Oh, mate. You've got a long sack, way to go. That's fine. Sack, fo sack football on the head to take it up full time. So That's absolutely fine. Tell me your best shot and your worst shot. Uh, best shot, probably about a 265-yard drive. Okay, straight? Uh, uh, yeah, straight. Straight, straight. Is a Amazing. Straight down the worst shot? Uh, probably about five feet and I take pants down for the lady shot. So, oh, okay. yeah, it comes it comes in. It comes and goes. Okay. Go on then, Sean. What's your view on, um, on um, athletes, sports stars getting caught doping or taking illegal substances I think they should be banned for life personally because if you're looking at it from an outside in they, they've got a lot of people looking up to them and they think they can get away with cheating and then come back to the game they love I just don't think it bodes well for them or the particular sport they're in so in Paul Boggs I, I still think four years yes there's a potential he might get reduced to two mm. but I think that if you've been caught cheated you know what you signed up for as an athlete if you're trying to cheat, you ain't good enough. Sure, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. There's, there's a team. You're not in a Forest fan, right? There's your, your team. Oh yeah, I won't mention last night. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, let's choose yeah. another team, right? Let's just say Liverpool, right? They got the Champions yeah. League final, okay, and they win it on penalties. And then we find out yeah. six months later, their goalkeeper. I'm not going to name names because it's hypothetical, but their goalkeeper has been caught doping. He he took okay. perform, performance enhancing drugs. Okay, he's banned. Yep. Does the rest of that team, irrelevant who is, do they keep hold of their winners' medals? <laughs> yes, but it's difficult because uh, there should be enough testing prior to these games for them to be caught out. If that's the case in the first instance, but this is where you, it comes to not just individual, but as, as session football as a team sport, you're not just putting yourself at risk, but your teammates at risk. Yeah. If you want to treat to cheat to try and succeed as an individual as a team, then so, that is. It's, what it's what happens if a footballer gets caught taking drugs? Two months after he scores a hat trick in a World Cup final, if it was if he was clean at the time, then no, 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 no. It's found that he had it in his system when he scored those three goals. That's that's a question I wish I could answer, Andy, because okay. I don't know because that because that puts the team in jeopardy, not yeah. just individuals. So you can't strip their hard work because yeah. they've got there in the first instance. But if he wins it, let's say Arteta is the goalkeeper. Yeah and say three penalties and they go on to win it, then might be a question. But okay. I don't think you can strip people. We'll let you get back to your golf. Uh, my advice will be always make sure your balls are clean, OK? My man, that's what I like to wear, Andy. OK, have a good one, Sean. <laughs> you, know, you said something there, and I think the rest of the team do get their medals stripped. World Cup final. Yeah. Goalkeepers, even if one... No, no, one player scores that trick. Yeah. Relevant who he is. Scores that trick. Mm -hmm. 
a month later we find out he had performance enhancing drugs. Yeah, the rest of the team lose their medals. I, I, I Are guess. you serious? Another example, two, 2008, Usain Bolt, relay, gold mm. medal. Mm. Nesta Carter gets found, banned substance. How two, long after? Oh, it was, I don't think it was, um, it was 2017, so it's nine years. You are kidding me. Yeah, I promise you, nine years, took the medals off him. So now Usain's got one less. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.